You know, we are, we're here this morning um, on HIV AIDS Lobby Day to draw attention to the funding crisis for HIV prevention and treatment services. Uh, you know, the state has clearly in a financial meltdown right now, but uh, one of the things that we're very concerned about is literally going to be putting people's lives at risk uh, who have HIV and AIDS. Um, I want to thank a lot of my colleagues here for joining me. Uh, we think others may be joining and, uh, as we're, we're speaking here. Um, but right now in Illinois, we have close to 45,000 people who are living with HIV. Uh, nearly 1,500 are diagnosed with HIV annually still. And the majority of the people um, who suffer from HIV uh, have, are African American, more than half. And Latinos make up another 15 to 17 percent. Um, uh, you know, this is a hugely growing problem and it's impacting, you know, all races in, in Illinois. Uh, the AIDS Drug Assistance Program, or ADAP, is at the heart of the funding challenge. Uh, this program provides HIV medications to over 4,100 low-income people with HIV each month. Now, the costs of this have been rising uh, over 33 percent, over a third this year alone uh, for three reasons. Three real things are driving the increase in the ADAP uh, costs. Rising unemployment, so we have a lot of people in Illinois are losing their insurance coverage uh, and thus are having to rely on this program for funding to continue to receive their medications. Uh, second, uh, people with HIV are living longer thanks to these drugs that are now available. Uh, and finally, um, efforts to identify people who are HIV positive are working. Uh, it's been very effective in Illinois. When you look at uh, Harvard has recently been doing a study, and Illinois is really considered one of the models on doing that education and outreach and getting more people with HIV AIDS tested, identified, and getting the um, medications and treatments that they need to keep them healthy. Um, the growth in the HIV medications are forcing Illinois Department of Public Health to redirect the funding from HIV prevention, housing and treatment programs to the medications. Uh, so we know it's critical to keep those medications funded. Uh, on the other hand, we're very concerned if we don't continue to fund the prevention and the housing that we're going to have even more of an epidemic in the future. And uh, ultimately that obviously leads to much higher costs when people are not getting the coverage and treatment they need.